it's Ryan here for another edition of Ryan's Tips and Tricks for Magicians. I just got back home recently from a trip to Victoria and Vancouver. I was out there doing lectures and shows for the local magic clubs. Had a fantastic time. Thank you very, very much for hosting me there. I was pretty proud of myself. I wrote a book for it. Uh, lecture notes that, uh, they started as lecture notes, but it basically turned into a book. Uh, detailing a lot of my routines and things like that. Uh, and I want to talk about one thing in there, which is a hands-off way to have two cards selected, signed, returned to the deck, and you can instantly gain control of them. So that is today on the low-tech version of Ryan's Tips and Tricks for Magicians. This is my theme song here. So, I just uh, got back into this. This is something I did years ago. I was on stage at a theater at a very high stage. It was about four and a half feet tall. And in my show, there's a lot of interaction going off stage, back on stage. After the first show, my legs hurt from crawling on and off this stage. So I started to think, how can I eliminate some unnecessary trips? And this routine was one where I had two cards signed and selected. So I'd be going out uh, to get the cards signed, get them... Uh, the other person to sign one back on stage for a bit then I get them to put them back in the deck I'm out again and, and back so that was four four times off off and on that stage and um, that was a big target to eliminate so I came up with a technique to have cards signed and put back in the deck completely hands off from me but still keep them in control by no means it's an original idea but it's something that may be practical for you in your show here's how it works. I just picked these up uh, just this past week from uh, Murphy's Magic. It's a mandolin short deck. So what that means is the entire deck has been shaved just a fraction uh, of a, like a millimeter maybe, uh, shaved off the top. Now, here's the thing. I, I got these. These are mandolin back, which I've never used before, but I figured they're pretty well indistinguishable. It wouldn't much matter. Um, so they're shaved off, but you can see the corner, especially this one, some of them in the deck, kind of squared off, not necessarily the best cutting. And I, I picked these up from the magic shop here in town in Calgary, which is the Vanishing Rabbit Magic Shop, owned by Brent Smith. And he was asking me about what I had in mind, and he said, oh, would you like these in bicycle? And I, I didn't see them available in bicycle, but I was like, yeah, yeah, please. Turns out Brent has a Joe Porper card cutting machine, which is kind of this uh, guillotine style paper cutter with all these attachments to line up cards just right. And so while I was in the shop there, he made me a deck of short bicycle cards. So shout out to Brent Smith. Not only did he make them for me, uh, but they're actually better quality than the, the Murphy's one. If I show you that, that's, that's the corners on, on that short deck. So nice, round, smooth, consistent. So thank you very much, Brent, for that. Now, here's how I use this deck of cards. So I have two cards selected, signed. Hands off, I'm on stage. What I do is I wrap a rubber band around the deck of cards, toss it out to someone, have them remove any card they like, and they keep that, and they hand the deck off to someone else down the row, they keep that, and uh, they toss the deck back to me. So they still have their two cards. Here's the thing. They're picking cards out of the short deck. So if you take two cards at random. There you go. Eight. Just happen to be eight and nine. So the deck comes to me back on stage. And just as I'm talking, I'm switching that short deck for a regular deck. Hmm? Looks indistinguishable. Uh, wrap a rubber band around that and toss it back out to have them slip their cards back in. So the cards get slipped in anywhere they like. Remember they're signed. They can shuffle them up as much as they want. Completely hands off, no control necessary because of the short cards. Now I have two, whatever cards they picked, they're, they're short cards, so they have two short cards in the deck. When the deck comes back to me on stage, almost instantly, I just by riffling up the back, I can, I can feel that's one. All right, so that gets to the top, and then I can feel the second one right there, and I do a slip cut because the one's already there, so 
I just slip cut and it adds it to the second one. And now within a second I have both their cards to the top of the deck. No peeking through, no nothing, just instantly one, two, right? So that's using a short deck tossed out a long deck to return the cards and you're ahead of the game. Now I would you know, palm these cards off and do whatever I need to do with them. So that's just a quick idea for controlling cards on stage and that is today's tips and tricks for magicians. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again shortly. Bye.